iNav. There's two different ways of getting there on your default iOS. One way is we go to iDocs and we go to Network and there's the navigator. Or the other one is we go down to our iOS bar, go to Applications, just kind of look around, scroll down, and here's iNav. Now, you're wondering why would you have a navigator inside a navigator? It's kind of redundant. Well, there's a few reasons why I use it a lot. Um, well, one, most people, you know, probably don't do the same thing I do. I have at least, you know, five or six different web browsers I have to use to check on things. And it's nice because that way I don't have to try to sync or, or try to remember which bookmark I put on which browser if I'm looking for something because I always find stuff interesting all over the place and I can never remember which one it is. Um, and that's nice, but what that leads into is the second reason why I like it so much or second point behind that is that if you go to a friend's house or you're somewhere out there and you don't have your computer with you and you need to find that one bit of information that you found on the web, you have it right there. Just navigate to your iOS and that's what's nice about iOS in general is not just for bookmarks but for your files and everything. No matter where you go, there it is. And also, um, I know that um, iOS has a mobile and I'm sure you can probably get the bookmarks through there too. Um, we'll do another segment on that later. Um, so that's what's great about that. Now up here, you know, we have our back and forth. Same thing as if uh, we're navigating around and you know you say hey I need to go back to this page or what have you you just hit back or I need to go forward again because I missed it and there you go and there's our start page um, you know you can program this obviously you go to settings and you see right here it says start page you just type in whatever URL you want right now I have Google you can do whatever you want and then save changes uh, the browser plugin right now I, I wouldn't worry about um, we'll probably go visit that at a later date um, we can export and import a different uh, you know our bookmarks and other stuff um, we'll go into that more later on uh, right now it's more of the beta I believe now we also have our bookmarks which is already up here on your left hand side um, now when you're navigating around and other stuff, if you find a page that you want to save or what have you, you just uh, let's find a test. I don't know here. Uh, Test.com web-based uh, testing software. Okay, we find this and say, hey, I want that. We just copy the URL down by highlighting and copying it. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's up here in this address bar, and we just hit the little save. And you can there's a bookmark title, so we'll just type in uh, you know test, and then you see it comes up right here. Now right next to it, there's a little X, so that means you can remove it, what have you. Now we can go back and navigate to it, you know, again later by clicking what have you. And then another nice thing about this is you'll see little icons right in front of it. Now that's not just a symbol. I mean, you know, showing you things for eye candy, that's actually it has a function. If you click on that, what happens, you can't see it right now because the, the, the screen's not on it, but it opened up another tab. So all these browsers, I think just about every one of them now has tab capability, will open up another tab and then you just click back to the tab where you're at. And that has a function for everything. You know, let's say we want to go to the iOS website. You, know, you just click on that, it opens up a brand new tab, and that way it's full screen and what have you. Speaking on the, of that, we can always hit our little thing here and have it pop up. And what's nice when it does that is it doesn't cover your little navigation bar here or your iDoc, which is nice because we can always come back and do something on top of this. Now, Now another nice feature here is we have search. And these are pre-plugged in, so you don't have to open up to a normal search page or hey you gotta type in the you know www.whatever.com real quick. You can just go right over here to our search engine, type in whatever you want, test, and then you can search it through Google, live.com. Um, here's images, so let's say we want to watch, I mean our look at images of tests. There you go. Knowledge base, wikia, and then the uh, Lictionary, and so on and so forth. 
so we'll just Google it. There we go. And then of course remember we can tab it out. That's just a rough real quick overview of it all. Um, another thing with a lot of these i apps and programs, if you go to the lower right hand corner, you can just uh, you'll see the icon change. You can click on it, right click on it, and you can you can move the size of it around. Now this, just like most all the applications, uh, you know we all still know, um, you know, and, and the programmers and stuff are just working like crazy and stuff, and they're doing a great job on everything. Um, you know, we still have some little kinks and other stuff to work out, but the basic function is there. Um, it's it's still good enough to use for every day and other things. Um, and if you ever have you know any questions or anything, you know you can always go to the iOS website and uh, you know go to the forums or something and most everyone's real nice and you know if you just have a suggestion just something out of the blue you know just always talk it's always good you know to hear that's how open source works